Hello YouTube, it's Jay. Um, so, uh, I'm getting my table redone. The rails are getting uh, a little bit on the dead side, so I'm replacing the rails and recovering the table. Um, and since I have that opportunity, I'm going to do some of the key concepts that, I, that are really, they belong way down the road, but um, because they can potentially damage the table a little. Uh, not, not like permanent damage, but they can, they can hurt the, the cloth, they can hurt the carpet. Um, and to do those, I have to explain one concept first, and that's the concept of how perspective and English go together. Um, and what I mean by that is, so when you're shooting, you're trying to get your cue as level as possible when you're shooting normally, right? So if I'm shooting that shot, I'm going to get my cue as close to level to the table as possible. The reason for that is that how I'm viewing the cue ball and the angle of my cue determines what my English is. Okay? I know that sounds a little weird, but I'm going to explain it right now. So, if I'm shooting, here's the cue ball, and I'm shooting exactly level, which you don't, by the way, you always have a slight downward angle because your cue and the rig, well, you, you usually have a downward angle because of the rails, uh, but of course if you're way out in the middle of the table you can actually get exactly level. Um, so if I'm shooting this way, okay here's my cue, my perspective on the cue ball is a 90 degree angle to the cue. Okay and if I hit here I get top and if I hit here, I get bottom, right? We all know this. This is kind of the basics of top and bottom. Well, what if, I'm, what if the cue is jacked up? Okay? What if the cue is jacked up and shooting into it? Well, guess what? That perspective is still 90 degrees to the cue. And if I hit here, I get bottom, and if I hit here, I get top, right? Well, if we go even further with that, and we say, okay, well, what about if my cue is coming down at an angle like this? Well, now, we have a different perspective. And now, here is bottom, and here is top. So, if you look at this, though, with a level cue, that spot was top, right? But now, because our cue is jacked up, that same exact spot on the cue ball is now bottom English because of perspective. And this is really a key concept. And it's going to be a really short one because there's not a whole lot to explain here. Um, the, but it comes into play in several advanced shots. And I'm talking about jump shots, masse shots, swerve shots. This comes into play in those shots. And we're going to be going through those in the next week. So, uh, it, like I said, it, it's a very advanced concept. Uh, the jumps and the mass A's are advanced concepts. But in order to do, uh, but because my table's being recovered, I've got the opportunity to do them. And since it's being recovered, it's not going to hurt me going forward in practice by having burn marks and, and compressed cloth on the table. So the concept here is that whatever angle the cue is at, the perspective for the purposes of putting English on the ball is 90 degrees to the cue. Okay, now we, we're going to talk about it more in more depth, but the more you raise the cue, the more English it puts on, and that's because of the pinch between the cue and the cloth. We'll talk about that at length at some point. Key concept here, whatever angle your cue is at, 
The perspective is 90. The English that you're putting on the ball depends on the perspective of the shot. If you're shooting level, 90, you know, it's always 90 degrees, right? So if you take a look at these red lines on, on the, the training cue ball, these red lines represent the plane of the shot. Okay, so if you're jacked up, that's your plane. You notice that as I turn this, these numbers all stay in the same place. They ju it's just where you're hitting relative that changes. So if this is our reference, okay, this is our normal shot. This is the one we do all the time. So this is our reference shot, and everything else is relative to the reference shot. So when I jack up like that, or even more like this, the, the face of the cue ball that I'm hitting moves up with it. And so when you're shooting your shot, you need to understand I'm hitting at this angle with my cue, this is where the center is, and then adjust from there around for your English. Does that make sense? I know this is kind of confusing for, for some people. It's, but the basic uh, idea is that as you, as you raise the cue, the plane, the, the face of the cue ball is a different place. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. If you have questions, ask in the comments. This is a really, really important um, concept because we're going to be doing jumps and masses and swerves and things like that uh, and so this concept is used in all of those degrees and I'm going to show you this so that you can you can see what I'm talking about okay let's start out with a, a regular shot so with a regular shot and this is the the training cue ball that has the the very fine degrees of accuracy on it. Um, on the cue ball, if I'm shooting a regular shot, my perspective is like this. That's, that's what it looks like to me when I'm shooting at a level shot. Okay, and if I put top, and I'm going to deliberately put some top on this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It's at the uh, between the two and the three. Okay. Well, now if I'm frozen to a rail, then a level shot is going to hit it much higher than that. So you can see here, this is almost a miscue angle. Okay. That hit all the way up. At the, at the four line on the cue, on the cue ball. All right, so, but here's the thing. So if I just slightly raise the back of my cue, if you say that the very outside edge, if you hit up here or here, it's going to miscue. Now, that miscue zone moves with it. Okay, so, you can by on a shot that you would that you're in fear of miscuing, you can raise the butt, uh, and that will uh, that will remove the miscue zone on the cue ball, uh, or it moves it so that you can get a clean strike. Now I have changed that angle, and now I have access all the way from center ball. So, I have access here, now I can hit it at the three line, and I have much less chance of miscuing. Why did that happen? Well, that happened because I changed the perspective of the shot, okay? Instead of shooting straight across where only the four line is available to me, I, by jacking it up, you can see the red lines there on the cue are showing me that 90 degree angle. Okay, so by jacking up on the shot, now I have access to everything from the one line all the way up. Okay, and that happens because I changed my perspective. 
if, if I needed to draw this. Let's say I need to, to draw a shot from here, right? So instead of jacking up like this, I can go way up here, and now I have access to draw. Yeah, this, this is, if I go way up here, now I can get draw. I can't get a lot of it because the rail's in the way of the bottom half. I'd have to get a lot of it, I would have to elevate almost vertically. Now I have access to the entire range of those. And now I can get true draw. Now I, I don't know that I'd want to do that, but by, by changing my elevation of the back of the cue, I'm changing my perspective on the cue ball. And as I change my perspective on the cue ball, I get access to areas of the cue ball that I didn't have because of the rail. That's why when you shoot on the rail, you always elevate the butt just a little bit, just to get that extra little edge uh, that you can hit without miscuing. All right, so that's it. Key concept. It's, I told you this would be a short one, but it is an incredibly important one, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how to use this over the next week or so when we talk about jumps, masses, and swerves. Um, and actually, we'll probably cover stun as well because we need stun for the swerves. So we'll, we'll, we've got several things to talk about. We're going to take advantage of the fact that I'm getting the table recovered to talk about them. And this is going to be a week with a lot of key concept. With that, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Hit, don't forget to hit like. Hit subscribe. If you have questions, put them in the comments. This is, this is a, this, this topic can be hard to grasp for some people um, because it requires 3D visualization to be able to, to understand it properly. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and if there's something that I need to uh, go into more detail on, I can always pull out the camera, get on the table, and show you. So if you have questions, ask them. So like, comment, notification bell, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.